ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by the rifle category here in season five is very very competitive we've got some solid mw options we got some solid cold war options we got some solid vanguard options as well obviously today we are breaking down the new top five best rifles in the game starting first at number five with the grow my all-time favorite weapon in warzone history this thing is just I, I love it it feels so good back in mw multiplayer i loved it right when warzone first dropped i was running this thing like crazy i mean it's just it's the goaded gun in my opinion now at the number five spot maybe i'm being a bit biased with this you could make an argument for uh the vargo you could make an argument for the xm4 but with the new buff to it we got to talk about the growl a little bit here and there where we can right obviously vargo and xm4 have been in the conversation for a while let's shed some light on a new and fun weapon to use so as far as the setup here goes it's relatively straightforward we got the monolithic suppressor we got the best iron sights in all of Warzone, and I will not be told otherwise, the Archangel Barrel. It's also going to give us better range, velocity, and control. Going to go ahead and run the Commando Foregrip on there. Also, the 50-round mags, you could do 60 as well if you wanted to, which is going to slow you down a little bit more. I think 50 is totally sufficient. Now, here's the thing. You got two different options for your last attachment here. I personally like using the Tac Laser to make that ADS and stability a little bit more aggressive, right? But obviously, for super long range fights, 100 meters and beyond, using iron sights is not going to be the most practical thing. Now, on Rebirth and Fortune's Keep, you could get away with this setup easily. For Caldera, you might want to drop Tac Laser and throw on a VLK three times optic. Unfortunately, that does negate the greatest iron sights ever. But uh, obviously, for long range, you want to be able to have that VLK on there so you have some better visibility in those longer range fights. So uh, for whatever map you're playing, just adjust accordingly. You do got a couple options there towards the end. Now, at number four, I've got the AS-44. Very fitting, obviously, because there's double fours in the name. Uh, I mean, for mid-range, this is about as good as it gets. They slightly nerfed the close-range build, but for, you know, 25 to 70, 80 meters, very few guns are going to outgun the AS-44 when you are landing your shots. I mean, the thing's TTK is just insane it's got some recoil you have to get used to but trust me this is one of those weapons that is well worth mastering because it is just so dominant where it's meant to be played after you master this weapon after you learn its ins and outs and figure out okay i should challenge in this area i probably should stay away from challenging in headies because the control you're gonna be a beast with this thing it takes some time to get used to but man after you do you're going to be unstoppable. Before we break down the attachments here, just a reminder, if you are new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, every single day I got you covered with the latest news, updates, loadouts, everything going on in COD. It's all right here, so feel free to hit that sub button. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it as well. But first here, we are starting with the MX Silencer. Going to help out with some of that control, and it gives us some better range as well. I got the 615 barrel, better range, better control once more. 2.5 times optic, perfect for that mid-range area where obviously this gun thrives. For the stock, you got two options. I've used custom a lot here, better control during sustained fire. I also see a lot of players going for the uh, 12B custom stock as well, which is based around initial firing uh, recoil, which is not bad by any means. Personally, I feel more comfortable with the basic custom, but you could go either or, just comes down to preference there. We want Carver on here. The recoil here is largely vertical, so that's going to help out a ton there. For the magazine, we got our 50-round Garenko for the better control, better fire rate. Going to give us a very, very spicy TTK. We got lengthened on there. We're going to run hatched as well. There is some horizontal movement, so that'll make up for that and give us a nice balance between the two. For perk one, I'm still running disable, which gives you that extra sort of hidden velocity bonus. And then perk two going for fully loaded. You could also go for on hand though as well if you wanted to to get that better ADS. Just comes down to preference there. Keep in mind with this fire rate, you are running out of ammo pretty frequently. So fully loaded can definitely help out there. Now at number three, we've got the closest competition to the AS-44, the Cooper Carbine, another weapon that is primarily meant for that 25 to 80 meter range, those mid range fights. This thing thrives there as well. The reason that I have the Cooper above the AS-44 is that despite having a slightly slower TTK than the AS-44, it's way easier to use. I think we all know that. This thing is a point and shoot laser beam. Not much to it. Anyone on any platform can use this. You don't really have to be a master of recoil to figure out how to shoot the Cooper carbine straight, right? So that's a huge pro that it has going for it and why I have it at the number three spot. It's a little bit weaker than some of the other rifles higher up and obviously a little bit less versatile, but for what this is, 
it's very strong and very consistent in that mid range so here again we got mx silencer we're gonna go for the cooper custom barrel it was slightly nerfed with the control still super easy to use right like minimal nerf there we got the 2.5 times optic on there yet again you got a lot of options for your stocks here if you want a more aggressive build on rebirth or fortune's keep go for skeletal the recoil is not all that bad if you want that better initial control go for the 45 rs if you want better control during sustained fire go for the 45w really just comes down to what you want on your setup there you do have some solid choices though i'm going to go ahead and run the skeletal under barrel because the recoil is so easy this will make it a little bit more aggressive and fast 9 mil 60 here again making it super easy to use we got lengthened on there for some of those mid-range fights i don't like how compressed feels they hurt the velocity uh compared to lengthened it's just not really all that great past like 50 meters i'm also going to go ahead and run taped here like i just don't need the recoil help if you do Feel free to, you know, run pine tar or rubber or hatched if you want. But if you're comfortable with the recoil, you can build this out for some speed as well and make it nice and versatile. I got tight grip on there again during sustained fire for that control. So no crossovers there. Then lastly, we got on hand for that faster ADS speed. You could also go for fully loaded if you so please. Both of those will work just fine. Now at number two, I've got the Automaton. I mean, because of the KG nerf, uh, the STG obviously rose up in rank. Maybe a little bit of spoiler alert there. Uh, the Automaton, though, also became a lot more competitive just because of the general TTK layout of the rifle category right now. Now, of course, if the UGM was a rifle and not an LMG, I think we'd have a very clear winner here, but the Automaton absolutely is one of the top choices right now in the rifle category when it comes down to it. Setup here is relatively straightforward. We got the MX silencer on there. I like using the 600 millimeter barrel because it's going to make this thing shoot straight over long ranges. It's helping out with that control. If you're just a demon on the sticks or the mouse, I guess, with control, you could always go for the sniper barrel, which will give you some better velocity and range. Those are really your main two choices here, though. I go for the 2.5 here as well i like the padded stock on here for that better control during sustained fire i wish i could use skeletal for the strafe speed but then that would counteract with tight grip because obviously this is initial firing recoil a tight grip is sustained so we can't really have those unfortunately padded's mainly your uh go-to choice i got carver on here the recoil is mainly straight vertical 75 round extended mag is going to be plenty of ammo for any sort of engagement lengthened we also got pine tar on here to help out that vertical control perk one is going to be tight grip perk two fully loaded to maximize that ammo super fun setup and also again very easy to use and then lastly at number one i've got the stg i mean this saw a slight nerf to its 760 barrel which of course we're going to be using for the horizontal control but it's still so easy to use it has great velocity stats minimal recoil really good range as well like all around the stg is just very well balanced well rounded right now enough to make it the go-to rifle in my opinion it's not too slow it uh, it's not too weak like some things uh would be with the cooper over range and whatnot it just feels nice and consistent right so obviously we got the mx sounds yet again 760 as mentioned 2.5 times once more for the stock on rebirth and fortunes keep again you could go a little bit more aggressive and use folding most players will probably go for weighted though because this is that main control based stock makes it shoot very straight and makes it super easy to use we got carver on there as well we got the 50 round garanko mags for the better control better fire rate helping out with that ttk we got lengthened for the better velocity we also have pine tar on here as well you could go for rubber if you wanted to uh both of those will work good perk one we're going for nerves of steel which is better control while injured and obviously if you're getting shot back at in a gunfight it's going to come in handy there perk two we're going to go for fully loaded pretty basic setup here for the stg but as of right now it is getting the job done no reason to change things up if they're not broken right so that being said those are the top five best rifles in warzone right now of course you can make arguments like i said earlier for the vargo the xm4 the cold war ak those are all right there as well so we definitely got some options right now these are the ones that stand out to me the most why is there this weird line in this preview screen now i don't know anyways that'll wrap things up if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it and if you are new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with everything going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications and once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out